Okay, hey everybody, welcome back to more Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Look at this place, it's a fucking mess. There are corpses laying around. What the fuck is this? It's a bark scorpion, and it's it's all screwed up and stuck in the... What the hell? Okay, it's dead. It's dead, it's just interacting with the ground a lot, and it makes it look like it's alive. Alright, that's, that's really... Um, kind of hypnotic and weird. Okay, hey, uh, we need to go to, uh, Hoover Dam. Yes, Hoover Dam, which is right there, and the closest place is Boulder City, which should be no surprise. Let's go there now. All right, here we go. Look at that. That's a nice establishing shot, right? Get to get a nice look at Hoover Dam there. That texture isn't rendering properly, but hey, hey, yes, Hoover Dam. Let's head on in. Uh, let's see, we need to talk to Colonel, was it? Colonel Moore? Um, are you going to auto, no? Okay. Let's go in. Okay, let's see if I can figure out how to find Colonel Moore. I think we want to hit up this elevator. Yes? Alright, uh, from here we want to go down. I know that much. This place can get a little confusing. Uh... Crap, which, okay, well, I'll follow my marker. How's that? There we go. Yes, that's the right door. Can I? No, I cannot steal tin cans. That's a shame. All right, here we are now. We, uh, yes, we want to go this way. This is where things get a little confusing. Okay, there's the requisition officer. Uh, we want to go up the stairs. Yes, yes. Oh, God, I can feel it. I can feel it. I think, think we're doing good. Um, Colonel Moore is in here. Yes! Hey! Good, you made it. I've yeah! I've receiving reports about the savior of the NCR for a oh. while now. Oh, I you. Eh, uh, you know. You've proven yourself especially capable. No, oh, thank right you. Right now, I can use all the capable people I can get. All right. Crocker gets handed the fluff missions that no one else wants to do. Hmm. When people need something really important done, they come to me. Hmm. Usually, I dispatch one or more rangers to see these things through, but I'm a little short-handed at the moment. Think you're up for a real mission? A real mission, huh? Uh, yes, ma'am. Since the majority of my men are on assignment dealing with the Legion, I need someone to handle other matters that have arisen. Make no mistake, there's a battle coming, and I intend to make sure there are no loose ends when the time comes. Hmm. One such loose end is a gang known as the Great Khans. Ah. Have you heard of them? <laughs> yes, yes I have. You could say we've had dealings. But then I don't need to tell you that they can be a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. The NCR has a rather sordid history with them, and I'm concerned that we'll find them aiding our enemies when the Legion attack comes. That is, unless we get to them first. I want you to visit them in their canyons to the far west and make sure they're in no shape to join the Legion. They're just another gang of raiders as far as I'm concerned, mm. so deal with them appropriately. Any questions? Uh, what if I find they're committed to joining Caesar? Will I have any NCR support in this? Uh, what if I find they're committed to joining Caesar? Then you'll need to make sure none of them are left to do so. Hmm. Any other questions? Uh, will I have any NCR support in this? I can't lend you any troops, but hmm. I've already sent word to Quartermaster Barden that you're to be given full access to our hardware. Hmm. You'll have to pay for what you take, however. We can't afford to give away equipment. Did you have any other questions? Uh, what if I convince them not to join the Legion? Don't fool yourself. Oh. I've dealt with enough of these gangs to know that they can't be trusted. Is there anything else? No questions, ma'am. Good. I look forward to hearing of your progress. All right. Dismissed. Yeah, uh, we could go do a series of quests through them. We could. We could We, we could totally do that, but you know what? Oh, man, I got this. I got this weapon. I got this hunting shotgun. Oh, it's so sweet. Look at it. Mmm, feel it. Smell it. Oh, it's great. It reminds me of that shotgun from the, uh... Uh, oh, fuck, uh, Medal of Honor Airborne. Oh, I love that shotgun. Hey, you! I don't think you're in the right place. You looking for some? Hey, shut up. I'd like to purchase some supplies. Sure thing. Another satisfied customer. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Bye. Okay, so as I was saying, I'm itching to use this shotgun, so I'm thinking instead of, say, like, helping the Great Cons and doing a bunch of bullshit quests for them that I'm really not all that interested in, Let's just go kill them all! Gotcha! Nice! That was beautiful. You see how I shot a little in front of him because of the time it takes for the plasma to... Oh, man, that was beautiful. Oh-ho! Okay. 
well, it's, it's fortunate that we're here at night. Because, no, we can't go in that one. Alright, I don't think we can go in any of the tents that have closed doors. Oh, there's a great con right there. Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going? I'm going to blow your head off. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, you're dead now. Oh, shit. Who dares shoot at the mighty Newtsman? You're dead. Good job, Eddie. Hey, none of that. Boom! Oh, sucks for you! Fuck you! <laughs> oh, they both died at the same time, too. You in the tent? Oh, it's Jerry! Isn't it Jerry? Are you Jerry? Are you Jerry the Punk? Yes, Jerry the Punk! Lame fucking hair. Get that boy a Circle Jerks record! Crimea River quest failed. Yes, he was important in a quest that we won't be doing. Alright, we're at the Red Rock Drug Lab, and there are people that need to die. Boom! Oh, that sucks for you! Also, you are dead, and you went through the floor. Quest failed. Oh, my papa! This will be the last of them. You! Nice legs, but dead! Or not. There we go. Hey! Get back here. Oh, she's not going anywhere. There we go. Huh. Like we don't have enough problems. Yeah, now you're dead. <laughs> okay, finally, into the longhouse. Alright. Looks like everybody's eating. Where's Papa Khan? He's not here. Whoa, hi, guy. Hmm. Who's that? There's Carl, okay. He is the ambassador here from the Legion. Alright, Papa Khan should come through the door once I start bopping some heads. You dirty cop. Fuck you! Oh, shit! Fuck. Come on. Oh, yeah, there's Papa Khan. Oh, yeah! Dead! Kill Papa Khan! Oh, Papa Khan's dead! Fuck you, Carl! Ah, shit! Carl! Carl, it's okay. It's okay, Carl. Carl, get back, Carl. Carl. Oh, you ain't sore at me, are you, Carl? Oh, he's got his weapon. But he's running. There we go. Okay. Okay. That takes care of that. Alright. Colonel Moore, I have hilarious news for you. Yes. Eating that shish kebab, are you? The cons won't be a problem to anyone. Ever. Again. Good riddance. Yeah. We've had reports for years that they're the ones who supply the fiends with chems, but no one's done anything about it. Well, they were. In any event, no one will miss them. And I've got another mission for you. We've had some disturbing reports recently concerning the Omertas, one of the three families that run the Strip. Right. Our intelligence has discovered that high-ranking members of the Omertas have been having clandestine meetings for the past several months. We haven't been able to determine whom they've been meeting with, but if it's Caesar's men, we'll need to act. I need you to uncover what they're up to and stop it if it threatens the NCR. Any questions? Uh, where should I start? Head to their casino, Gamora, and ask around. Hmm. If you discover that what they're up to threatens the NCR, stop it. The Omertas themselves likely won't be forthcoming, so you may need to talk to some of their help to pick up a trail. Anything else? Can you give me any leads? Our preliminary research shows that the Omertas used to do some business in Freeside, mostly buying weapons. Hmm. Any other questions? No, ma'am. Liza O'Malley at the Embassy may have some information for you as well. Dismissed. Oh, your shish kebab's gone. Great cons. Merciful thug. Despite your reputation as a thug, you are known to occasionally show a charitable side. Okay. I don't know why that... Uh, fine. Whatever. Uh, okay, so let's head on over to the NCR Embassy at the Strip. Welcome to the NCR Embassy. How can I help you? Uh, more sent me to talk to you about the Omertas. Ah, oh, excellent. I received word you may be coming. We helped the receptionist over at Gamora with some thugs that were taking advantage of her. Ah. She owes us a favor. 
Go talk to her. She'll be able to point you in the right direction. Yeah, she's got some loose lips. What can you tell me about the embassy? The embassy offices are to your left, while the barracks and living quarters are to the right. If you're looking for a history lesson, I suggest you talk to Ambassador Crocker. Okay, I don't know why I thought to ask that. Let's say goodbye. Sorry. Okay, let's go investigate the Omertas back at Gamora on the other end of the strip. You there. Hello, and welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? Um, I'm calling... Yes, I'm calling in for an... Oh, wait a second. What is there to do around here? Do you have any room... I might be able to get a speech check out of her. I'm sure you have all the good dirt on what goes on around here. I sure do. But loose lips <laughs> sink ships. Okay. Speech 28, don't worry about me. I can keep your secrets. All right. <laughs> you look pretty trustworthy. Uh -huh. What is there to do around here? What can you tell me about what's going on around the strip? I'm calling in a favor. And, okay, fine. I guess I still have to call in the favor. I knew someone would call in that mark soon. Hmm. What do you want to know? Well, first I need to drink some coffee. I need to know who to talk to about what's been going on in Gamora. All I can tell you is to find Kachino. Ah. He's the lowest level lieutenant you're going to be able to talk to. <laughs> some of the girls say he's been involved in some shady business the family wouldn't really like. Ask him about it. Alright, um, let's say see you later. Bye. Let's go talk to Kachino. This place can be a real motherfucking maze. Right now I know where I'm going, but it won't be that way for long. Kachino, there he is. He's going to talk to me. I hear you've been asking questions about me, dickweed. What the fuck do you want? What? You find out on your fucking cell phone or something? I just talked to one... Whatever. Um, I hear you've been doing some business on the side. Business? What the fuck do you mean, business? You Whoa! Get yourself burned? You watch your you fucking mouth. real clear, and I mean fucking crystal clear, because hmm. I'm about to lose my patience. <laughs> I hear you've been dealing with some... Business that is off limits for the family. I don't give half a dick what you heard. Now get mm. the fuck out of my face before half I a burn dick. your sorry ass. <laughs> That's a good one. Half a dick. I gotta remember that. All right, you go sit down. You go sit down. I need to check your pockets. You got a little pocket picking action going here. Where's the bartender? All the way over there. Good. You sit down, sir. I'm going to. Do that. Are we still hidden? We're hidden. All right, let's pick his pocket. Don't want anyone to see. Let's take Kachino's journal and let's get back up. Now sure, let's talk to him. Shut up. You again? What the fuck do you want? Um, I found this ledger that proves some of your side business. The fuck did you get that? <laughs> okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. Right. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Oh, that's what a shame. Talk? What do you want? What can I do for you? Um, is this journal worth 100 caps to you? Do you think the family would like to see this? I can't stop you, but that's going to mean my death. Hmm. I can make it with you a while to give it to me, though. Oh, yeah? Plus, if you go to the bosses, I can't help you stop what they've been doing. Hmm. Okay, um, I think we have to sell him the journal back. Why don't you try and take it from me? I think I'm going to keep this for a little while. Um, fine, is it worth 100 caps to you? I can pay you for it, of course. <laughs> I also have some information about the family's business that you might find interesting. Between you and I, we can break up what they're planning, maybe save some lives. Might include it, of course. Hmm. Okay, 100 caps, and you help me break up whatever the bosses have planned. Oh, here's some caps. Now give me the journal. Oh, yeah, by the I way, here are the caps. So let me tell you what I know about the family's business. The bosses, Big Sal and Nero, have been working for a while on this. Okay. They're arming themselves like an army, using this new guy, Troik. They hmm. also brought in a specialist named Clandon. At least that's what they introduced him as. What kind of specialist is Clandon? I got no fucking idea. Hmm. They let him have the run of the place, though. Seems like a nice guy, but he makes me nervous. Hmm. He's a little arrogant, but he's too nice. Too open. I've never seen him fucking a gambler. Everyone has a vice, but this guy seems like the Pope. Hmm. I have a couple more questions. Okay, toss them at me. Uh, tell me about this Troik character. He's a skittish little fucker. Spends <laughs> half the day pumping his body full of chems and the other half pumping hookers with his willy. Hmm. He has some kind of connections, so he's able to smuggle huge shipments of weapons into the strip. 
The bosses got him by the short hairs. We covered up a hooker he killed while flying on some psycho, so he gets us guns in exchange for not ratting. Okay, um... Okay, toss them at me. Any other shit I can add? Do you know anything about what they're planning? Yeah, let's ask that. No, just that it involves guns and muscle. Mm -hmm. Also that it's big. Very big. Only Nero and Big Saul know everything, and they ain't telling. Okay. Alright, I'll say later. Okay, you can find me here or upstairs in my room. I'll let the muscle know you're a friend of mine. That should let you get around a little easier. Oh god, please don't move up to your room when I need to find you. I have hard enough time finding this place. Okay, so we need to go talk to Troik and this Clandon fellow. Troik is easy to find. I always run into him on accident. So let's go talk to him first, probably. Okay, there we go. Troik! Who are you? I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. Um, what do you do here? I don't see how that's your business. Hmm. I'm just a guest here, having a little fun. All right. Kachino sent me to ask you about some guns. Kachino? Uh -oh. Kachino what? Audio's a little fucked me? up. He must be trying to get me killed. Hmm. Looking to help Kachino break up whatever the bosses are planning. Yeah? Well, fuck that. Oh. The bosses have my number, and I'm a company man while well, they got the goods on me. Oh, shit. Um, 78 of 80. Ah, oh, shit, I don't have a high enough speech skill. Um, let me exit. That's it for now. See ya. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I, I think I have a magazine I can use. Um, meeting people. Yes, there it is. Alright, let's use that. Okay, now let's talk to you. You again. Make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cacino sent me a gun. Cacino? Cacino what? Are you kidding me? He must be trying to get me killed. Yeah, yeah, we already heard that part. Um, I'm looking to help Cacino break up whatever yeah? the bosses are planning. Well, fuck that. The bosses have my number, and I'm a company man while they got the goods on me. Okay, there we go. Speech 80. Lie. If you don't help me, I'll re report your work here to NCR. Okay, fine. Great. So I'm fucked either way. <laughs> I guess I don't have any choice but to help you. Yeah. Just try not to get me killed here. Okay, yeah, I lost karma on that. Plus, I just realized... Oh, hey, it leveled me. Um, I just realized I could have done that without without having that kind of speech skill. Um, tell me what happened with the prostitute, even though he didn't say anything about the prostitute. Okay, what can you tell me about the guns the Omertas have? They're keeping them in a little utility section down off the basement. Hmm. I don't know what they're arming themselves for, but I know it isn't for the good of mankind. Hmm. Okay. Um, how do you get the guns into the strip? I'm pretty proud of myself. It's a stroke of genius if I could be so modest. Huh. The whole arrangement starts with an old buddy of mine in the Republic. He's responsible for packing and shipping supplies to the NCR on the strip. Oh, shit. He marks some containers as food and medical and packs them with guns and other shit. Hmm. From there, it took just a couple of greased palms to get someone to let me cherry pick a container or two out of every shipment. Easy as pie. Cherry pie? <laughs> uh, oh. Um, I have a couple more questions. Okay. Try and be fast about it. Uh, what can we do to take care of the guns? As a little pet project, I've been making some thermite. Mm. Thermite burns as hot as the devil's asshole and can melt through just about anything. <laughs> I've been keeping it so if the family betrays me, I can hopefully do some damage before I end up dead or in jail. Um, if you don't deploy the thermite yourself, I'll tell the bosses what you've been planning. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> Alright, I'll place the fucking thermite myself. You get out of the casino for a bit. I'll take care of it while you're gone. Okay, we leveled up! Hey, alright! Um, let's definitely get speech up some more. 85, there we go. Uh, science. Ah, what the hell. Oh, I could almost do it there. There we go, science at 100. Let's say done. Okay, now we gotta go find Clandon. There he is. Hey, nice to meet you. Do you need help with something? Uh, what do you do around here? How'd you end up with one of the hotel suites? Kachino sent me to talk to you. Kachino? Yeah, I've heard the name. Not sure why he'd send you to me. Is he helping out with room service or something? Eh, eh, eh. Fucking smart ass. Okay, I went ahead and left the casino for a little bit. Uh, Troy should have had enough time to destroy the weapons. And so now we can talk to Kachino again. Hey, Kachino! Check out the courtyard. No! Hey, what can I do for you? 
Uh, Troik destroyed the guns for me. Yeah, poor fucker got himself caught after he melted all the guns. Oh, shit. Bastard mentioned your name before they shot him in the head. Oh, damn. Now the bosses want to see you. Oh, I'm sure they do. Um, I have some questions, but okay. What's next? Alright, I'm going to say see you later. Okay, let's check the quests. I've never done it this way before exactly, so I don't quite know what's going on. I know what kind of work Clandon does for the family. Well, I tried to do that earlier, and it didn't work out for me. Hang on. What can I do for you? Oh, crap. Um, I have some questions about the boss's plans. Alright, let's have them. Mm, no, if I spoke to Clandon and couldn't get anything out of him. I there we go. you might have that problem. That guy's pretty much a mystery. I did some asking around about him. On the down low, of course. Hmm. Turns out the boss's plans are right fucked without him. Killing him would probably work wonders. Just don't let anyone see you do it. Okay. Okay, let's... That's all the questions I have for yeah, now. You can find me here or upstairs in my room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Okay, fucking shit. We gotta go back to Clandon. Kill him! Hmm. Didn't play the audio again. That's... That's not great. Let's see what he had on him. Uh, Magnum revolver, Magnum rounds, case, Clandon's room key. Sure, sure, okay. All right. Hey, what can I do for you? Oh, God, again. Clandon is dead. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Is that your mm. handy work? Yep. Well, I can't say I'm sad to see him go. He gave me the fucking creeps. Yeah. All right, uh, what's the next step in breaking up the boss's plans? Now we cut off the head of the serpent. That's what I'm Big talking about. Nero have to die. Okay, how do we take care of the bosses? They're a little bit upset about what's been done to muck up their plans. They task me to find out who's responsible. There isn't going to be another chance to get both of them together in the same room. Uh. I'll slip you a gun, and we can take them out. All right. Speech 80, they are going to expect something from me. You can do it and surprise them. Mm. No, I'd, 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 I'd like to go in there and kill them myself. Uh, let's go take care of the bosses. Hurry and get ready. I'll give you a gun when you get to the room. Okay, I think he's going to start heading up there and we have to follow him. Um, and that's going to take forever, so I will cut the video and I'll see you upstairs, closer to the room. We are almost there. Oh, we're so close. Yes, there they are. There they are, right there. Okay, I think he's going to hand me a gun. Hey, here's that gun I promised you. I suggest using it while they are talking. Let's have some sure work. Hang on, hang on. All right. Let's see. Items. Weapons. What do you give me? Sawed-off shotgun. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Okay, what the hell. Take a seat on the couch, so let's Boom! Dirty you didn't even fucking fight me! What the hell? Seriously, we are now accepted on the strip. Okay. Whatever. That was weird. It's, uh, whatever. Gamora office key. Take that assault carbine for some repairing later. Return to Colonel Moore and report that the Omerita's plans have been foiled. Okay, good. Let's go return to her now. Hey, Colonel Moore! Have you discovered what the Omeritas are up to? Uh, the Omeritas were up to something big, but I stopped them. Excellent. You'd think living in the lap of luxury and power would be enough for some people, but no. Now that that's out of the way, let's see. Mr. House was a concern, but someone conveniently dealt with him for us. <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, that reminds me. You might be happy to know that your efforts haven't gone unnoticed. Huh? The brass have been throwing around the idea of having the president visit the dam for a while now. Oh, here we to go. To rally the troops and boost morale and such. With our recent achievements, they finally feel secure enough to stage the damn thing. Hmm. But while it's being planned, I have one last mission for you. Several years ago, we managed to wrest the Helios One solar power station from the Brotherhood of Steel chapter local to this area. Right. It was a crushing victory, but no one's heard a peep from the Brotherhood since. Most people assume the Brotherhood is scattered and not a threat. Recently, we've had scouts go missing in an area west of Helios, and I'm concerned that the Brotherhood is involved. I want you to find them, and once you do, finish them for good. Any questions? Um, is there no peaceful way to resolve this? Don't even think about it. No. Oh. Brotherhood survivors likely harbor a deep grudge against us. We can't afford to leave such an enemy alive. Hmm. Any other objections? Maybe you'd like to bring the Brotherhood some flowers. <laughs> um, I 
I thought the Brotherhood were all wiped out of Helios 1. How could they have survived? Uh, fuck it, let's talk to her some a more. A fair question, and one I've had our strategists think about for some time. Their consensus is that we must focus on the one thing we can count on. But the Brotherhood, that's their obsessive attachment to technology. Mm. They'd never go anywhere that didn't have working power. I'm willing to bet that wherever they're hiding, there's a working reactor powering their equipment. That's their vulnerability. Detonate that reactor, and we can safely cross the Brotherhood off our list of concerns. Is there anything else? We can actually call a truce between the NCR and the Brotherhood of Steel, which is what we'll do, but I'm trying to initiate as much dialogue as I can out of her to hopefully avoid a game-breaking bug that might occur a little later. Um, I thought the Brotherhood were all wiped out of Helios 1. How could they have survived? After the battle, we consolidated our hold on the plant before pursuing our enemies. Mm. It was a mistake, to be sure, but there wasn't really any place for them to go. When we finally gave chase, however, they had simply vanished. Some of our people think they had some means of conveyance, like the vertebrates the Enclave used and hightailed it out of here. Hmm. I think that they found some place to hide close to Helios and never went that far at all. Any other questions? Well, yeah, you would be right about that. Where should I start looking for them? As I said, our scouts were some ways west of Helios when they disappeared. Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. Dismissed. Okay, I guess that's all the dialogue I can initiate for now. All right, let's go talk to the Elder and... Makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Shut up! God, see, in an earlier video I mentioned you would hear that a lot, and I was right. You do. You hear that so much. All the time. But Tony Will Hobby almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter! <laughs> it's so fucking funny! Let's go talk to the Elder. And now we can talk to the Elder. Hey! Welcome, Outsider. Welcome. The lockdown has been officially lifted, and everyone seems to be in good spirits. Alright. With the surface open to us once again. Harden's already started talk of sending a force out to attack Helios, but I hope to dissuade him. <laughs> what can I do for you? Um, I want to join the Brotherhood. Tell me about the lockdown. What is with this crazy sandstorm on the surface? The NCR is currently looking to destroy you. I suppose it was only a matter of time. Hmm. I wonder if, given the NCR's current situation, they would consider a truce of sorts. We've given up our claim to Helios, and we don't have any interest in claiming Hoover Dam. So our ambitions are not at cross purposes. Hmm. Perhaps it's time for a new strategy. Go to the NCR commander and tell her the Brotherhood is willing to put aside our enmity for the time being. Further, tell her that we are willing to send troops to aid in their coming defense of the dam. Nice. My guess is they're in no position to refuse. Okay. Let's go, uh... Let's go talk to Colonel Moore again. Yay! Okay, Colonel Moore wasn't in her office, so I had to go find her. Hey! Has the Brotherhood been found? Uh, as soon as you... Okay, there we go. I talked the Brotherhood into supporting the NCR. And you believe them? Hmm. Do you have any idea how long we've been fighting those bastards? Ah. Uh. Ugh, Crocker will have a field day with this. I want to establish diplomatic relations with them, for Pete's <laughs> sake. But we've got more important matters to attend to. The President is due to arrive soon, and we're sure the Legion won't waste such an opportunity. I want you to assist the security detail we've prepared for the president. His safety is critical to maintaining the men's fighting spirit. Go up to the visitor's center and speak to Ranger Grant. Uh -oh. He's in charge of security during the president's visit. Dismissed. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just going to pause it for a second. Okay, so this is where this shit can get glitchy. Sometimes Ranger Grant... Grant. Sometimes Ranger, Ranger Grant can't be talked to. Like, you try to initiate dialogue with him and he just says something and then your only dialogue choice is to say goodbye. Even though you should be able to talk to him and say, hey, you know, I'm here to help with the security of the president and all that shit. So, I've heard that if you talk to is her more... Safe? Um, I was hoping to ask you some questions. This is no time for questions. Get back topside and protect the president. Hmm. Okay, hang on. Oh, I shut the door is on the her. <laughs> I don't know. The visit is still... Going on up there. Then what the hell are you doing down here? Huh. Get back topside and protect the president. Okay, so that doesn't work. All right, let's. Yeah, let's open the door. Okay, let's go try to talk to Ranger Grant. Hopefully, hopefully we can. Um, you know, like I say, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I guess we're about to find out. Okay. Uh, yeah. Here are some NCR Rangers and Ranger Grant's right here. So you're the one, Colonel. Yes. Oh, it worked. Oh. The president's visit. Oh. Well, I'm running security for the visit, which means I'm in charge. All right. If anything goes down, you tell me first. You got that? Sure. We've got a lot to do to prepare for the president's visit, and not much time. Once we start, we'll be on a strict timetable. Okay. Are you ready? 
Um, I'm going to say, I need to prepare first. Make it quick. Whoa, he was pissed. All right, sweet. Hey, it fucking works. Sometimes, sometimes you can't initiate that, like, you know, you, you walk up to him and then he just suddenly starts talking to you. That's how it's supposed to happen. Oh, sometimes it doesn't work that way. All right, good. Good. So next time, unless we fall out New Vegas, we might actually get to, um, get to work on finishing this fucking Let's Play. Okay, I'll see you then. Luke out.